Inside Press Box is presented by Friedmont Mortgage. Don't make a 30-year mistake by choosing the wrong lender. Go to Friedmont.com now for all of your mortgage needs. And welcome to another edition of Inside Press Box. I'm your host, Stan the Fan Charles. This week, we'll go down to the Chick Webb Rec Center and check in on the Ed Block Courage Award winners. Plus, I'll be joined by Randy Monroe, head coach of UMBC Men's Basketball. But I want to get right to my first guest, Mike Gimbel, director of Powered by Me. It's an organization devoted to educating athletes about the side effects, dangers, and alternatives to anabolic steroids, performance-enhancing supplements, and basically anything that's addictive behavior. Everything. Mike Gimbel's with Everything. us. Stan, thanks for having me. Uh, Mike, I think the first time we had you on the show was probably right around the time of the Yardley Love murder. Yes. A and we talked then about what was going on with George Ugly and what this culture is like there. And it's a really take away the localness of this. It's, it's everywhere, the pervasiveness of uh, alcohol abuse among youngsters. I, I think her death and the trial that was just held woke up the whole country, much like Len Bias' death did. Everyone now is looking at colleges, high school, and drinking. Because what came out in this case was that this George Hughley had been drinking and had an alcohol problem for years. Nobody did anything. And even his teammates testified in court and said, we know he had a problem and we were going to intervene after the NCAA tournament. After. I don't want to get into being the right winger here, but at a certain level, because we see it as we were talking before we went on the air, Amy Winehouse, Michael Jackson, most recently and tragically Whitney Houston. People try, even when they do try and intervene, there's no guarantee they can get to a person. I mean, I saw Whitney Houston time and time again, interviewed by Oprah Winfrey, denied that she was using cocaine. Look, the hardest thing we have to deal with in this country is confronting addiction. People are watching this show now they know somebody who drinks too much, who does too many drugs, and they want to get them help. They desperately want to get them help. And they try and they try and people stumble and they fall. And it, all I know is I'm a recovering addict. My parents, my family never gave up. And eventually it worked. All I could tell people is you keep trying, you keep trying to help these people. We need more help out there, but it's a tough, it's a tough thing to break. It, is there such a thing, Dom Starja, for example, the head coach, if you meet him, one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to meet, is he an enabler? Is he evil in some way for not having done what should have been done, which is probably to cut this kid from yeah. the team, which might have woken him and his folks up? When it comes to, to athletics, there are a lot of enablers. Because when you get these athletes who are really good athletes and they're playing at a high level in the NCAA and tournaments, you've got the parents, you've got the coaches, you've got teammates, you've got teachers, you've got, you know, yep. boyfriends, girl. Everybody is an enabler. If they know a person is abusing a substance and it's impacting their life in a negative way and they don't try to stop it, then they're an enabler. And especially if they hold up the game, the tournament, as a way of saying, we'll wait and do it later. What if they would have intervened with George? Would Yardley have been killed? We don't know, but yep. maybe not. Yep. We, can't, we can't risk it anymore, and hopefully this tragic death will wake up all of this country we to can, deal with this issue You know, at high school and even middle school level. We can only hope so. Yeah. Talk a little bit about Powered by Me, Congressman Elijah Cummings, who was my congressman for a number of years, and uh, great guy. Great this has guy. been the greatest and, program. Yeah. I've, I've been involved in, in drug and alcohol, educate 30 years. This is the greatest program I've ever been involved with because it's St. Joseph Medical Center, worked with Elijah Cummings and created a program to educate young athletes all the way up to college about the dangers of not just steroids, but taking all these supplements from energy drinks to muscle milk to creatine. These kids want to get bigger and stronger and faster so they can get that scholarship and get on the team. And they're taking everything, whatever. They go into a GNC and these aren't regulated. So they take whatever 
to get that big muscle because of the pressure to win. the advice of a guy making like $6 oh, an hour. Oh, my God, it's amazing. And what happens, and we see it in the pros, they're failing drug tests because they took these supplements, not steroids. So what we do Empowered by Me is we work with every high school, all the rec councils. We've got a big conference coming up. May where 1st. We bring, May 1st, we bring in 700 high school athletes and try to teach them the alternatives. How do you get bigger without taking steroids? How do you get faster? How do you become a better teammate, a better role model? How do you take care of yourself nutrition-wise? So we can teach them the other way to do it rather than doing something that's going to hurt them. One of the most fascinating stories coming up on May the 1st, and uh, a good friend of yours, Doug Dunlap. Yes, uh, and FBI the FBI, agent, yeah, good buddy. He told me about an interesting story about a Division I female athlete yes. who doesn't suffer from alcohol abuse or drug addiction or steroids. She was a gambling addict. Yes, And yes. she's going to speak she again there. She will be there Lisa Densmore. Lisa Densmore. We're going to talk about gambling, eating disorders, muscle training. We're even going to teach them about finances, about the regulations with the NCAA, about money. We see that all the time. Yeah. We're going to talk about everything. We're bringing high school athletes and coaches from every high school in Baltimore City, every high school in Baltimore County, and about 25 non-public schools will attend, spend the entire day, you know, learning about it. Congressman Cummings will be there, and a whole bunch of people that are dedicated to helping these kids do it the right way. Well, you're a great example of somebody who has taken a negative, uh, being an addict yourself, and yep. turned it into a tremendous positive. And uh, I know Chip Silverman, our old friend oh, yes. uh, who passed away a couple years back, was fond of you, and you, your work is fantastic. Continue the good I work, and I'll see you May the 1st. Yes, and thank you for all your support. And we're going to have Lisa on the show Excellent. to talk about good. that. Good. Thanks for your support. Steve. All right. Mike Gimble, powered by me. We're going to be right back with UMBC head men's basketball coach Randy Monroe to talk a little NCAA hoops. Maroon PR is the leading sports and entertainment PR and marketing firm in the region. Now more than ever, they are a full-service firm that can handle all of your public relations, branding, and marketing needs. Visit MaroonPR.com to learn more.